everyone. Patrick Gargano here from Learning and Certifications. Along with Hank Preston, also from Learning and Certifications. And we're back for a look at domain two of the CCNA blueprint, all about network access. So we talked before about network fundamentals. Yep. What's different about network access from fundamentals, Patrick? Looking at the blueprint, um, again, just to highlight, this is an important one here. So domain two, it's a big domain. It's worth 20% of, of the exam. So you can expect on the questions you get for the CCNA, 20% of those questions will come from this domain. Listen, the highlight for me here is you're actually starting to configure and deploy devices in a network. It could be wired and wireless, um, all about trunking and VLANs here, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of configure tasks here. It's a time for you to get your hands dirty and actually configuring, and the focus here is on switches. Right? When I look at the blueprint for network access here in Domain 2, we see configure and verify VLANs, inter-switch connectivity, spanning tree is yeah. a big topic. We love spanning tree. <laughs> and so this domain is all about those switching aspects, layer two, bridging fundamentals. Right? We have a, a couple of mentions of layer three, but the real focus here is at layer two. It is. Which is definitely a critical aspect of becoming a network engineer. We can't get to layer three no. until we've mastered layer two. Exactly. So what's your favorite aspect of, of network access here? I think what stands out again for me is all those configuration tasks lead me to want to get my hands dirty, here, right? I want to start configuring stuff. So either with real gear, if I have access to it, or some sort of a simulated environment, maybe packet tracer, or if you want to go full on with something that's a bit more complete, a bit more robust, and, and actually emulating real Cisco gear, then we're talking about something like CML. And that would allow you to test and practice all of these different tasks. And as we mentioned a few times, Domain 2 has a lot of configuration tasks. I'm, I'm looking through it and it's like, uh, what, four of the nine are all about configuration tasks. So this is the time for you to kind of go in and know how to make those commands. Understand how to actually type config T, configure terminal. Yeah. Go into interfaces, make the IP configurations. Because during your exam, right, part of the CCNA exam questions you'll see are what we refer to as simulation questions or maybe lablets, where you'll actually be asked and given access to switches and told to make some sort of a configuration. Maybe you'll be told to do something like we come off of a figure and verify layer two discovery protocol, mm. CDP. So you'll have to go in and enable Cisco discovery protocol on a switch and make sure that it's understanding what it's connected to. Or maybe you'll be asked to configure a trunk port to prune out to a sub specific selection of VLANs. You need to be comfortable making those commands on the switches that are there because we're going to ask you to actually do that. The other thing that, that kind of stands out for me anyways is, is it notice those verbs. It's not just configure. There's another one right after. It's that verification step. So yes, we're asking you to configure a trunk. Uh, but maybe we're actually asking you, okay, this trunk is already configured. Go check to see what's going on. Is there a little bit of, of a problem with this trunk? You know, how is it configured? What commands will you use to check how it is actually configured and, and operating in the network? And the other one that, that jumps out is that it's a new verb. We hadn't seen it in domain one. It's, it's the interpret one. And this is an interesting one. So we're not necessarily asking you to configure something. So I'm thinking here in particular 2.5, which is all about spanning tree. Yeah. But notice it's not asking you to configure it necessarily, but to interpret how it works and, and how the different port states and port roles operate. So again, we might show you some output mm -hmm. and ask you some questions about that output. So rapid spanning tree is enabled, you know, what's going on with this port? Is it forwarding, is it blocking? What's, what's happening with it? And the other thing that's really interesting here is network access is how clients get access to a network. Mm. Now, most of the time in the CCNA questions and topics, we're focused on physical access, using an ethernet cable to plug into a switch. But as we see with 2.6, we actually start to talk about wireless access to a network as well. Yeah. Understand the Cisco wireless architectures, different access point modes and how they can um, connect. Now you'll notice 2.6, again, verbs are important. Yep. This is describe the architectures that go through. We don't see any configuration tasks here in do, uh, domain two for network access focused on wireless. So remember, just use the uh, exam topics, use the blueprint to guide the level and type of configuration and knowledge you're going after in your own journey. And, and you can see, not only does 2.6 deal with wireless, 2.7 talks about it and 2.9. So there's quite a lot around, around wireless, but again, it's not this deep dive, full on, you know, you're gonna configure a whole wireless environment. We're gonna ask you some questions about, you know, what are the different ways that you can configure these things and, and how are they described within a, a wireless environment? All right, well, thank you again for joining us for this look at domain two network access on the CCNA blueprint. We'll be back to talk about the rest of the domains find those videos probably in the playlist below. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye.